Now that you've got this money, where have you been putting it to use and what sort of progress have you made since this cash infusion? Well, Emily, like you said, we've been investing a lot in artificial intelligence and really trying to build an entirely new kind of company that's built on a substrate of technology and data. And what that means is that we can use AI to pay claims. We pay claims in as little as three seconds. And most of our resources are going into exactly that, building a new kind of company built on that substrate. Now, you obviously get a lot of very privileged information about your customers. And, you know, over the last few weeks, we've been talking a lot about privacy, about data privacy. You know, how are you sort of handling uh, your relationship with the customer internally? And, you know, have you learned anything at Lemonade since some of the revelations we've seen coming out of Facebook? I think so. You know, insurance um, is a social good. It's an economic necessity, but it's not trusted. It hasn't been for hundreds of years. If you look at the Urban Dictionary, you'll see it's defined as a promise to pay later that is never fulfilled. So trust and trust-related issues have been endemic to insurance way before the Facebook issues um, rose to the fore. So we've really tried to build an alternative business model that aligns us with our customers. Insurance often finds you conflicted with your customer. If I deny your claim, I get to pocket those monies. And we built a different business model, kind of a Ulysses contract, where we tie our own hands to make sure that we're really aligned with our consumers in a way that the traditional insurance players and some of the leading tech players have a difficulty doing. So if I'm a customer, how might my experience with you be different than a traditional insurance giant? I think you'll find very little in common. <laughs> um, so when you buy insurance on Lemonade, you download the app or you go to the website, you'll be insured in a matter of seconds. Literally, if you've spent more than 90 seconds buying insurance, you're probably doing something wrong. So it's a, a seamless experience where you're talking to a chatbot. It's delightful. It's instantaneous. And more remarkable than that is that when you make a claim, it's the same thing. Zero paperwork, instant everything. A third of our claims are paid by our AI in three seconds. You press submit, and the money is back on your debit card within three seconds. And the third part is not only does AI allow us to transform the experience, um, but it allows us to lower costs. So for first-time insurance buyers, um, younger consumers, the savings can be very dramatic. You're talking about 70 80% savings more often than not. 